Everyone, Zeddy here again today with a brand new video and the card reveals for March of the Lich King expansion have begun again with a bunch of Druid reveals, including a Druid legendary that's um like Savage Roar, possibly on absolute steroids. We're going to get into that. Before we do that, though, I want to uh, go over our giveaway we have going on, which just got bigger. We are giving away now that we have hit 60 thousand subscribers three mega bundles out of my pocket that's right we're up to three two regular pre-orders all you have to do to enter is like and comment in the video description subscribe to the channel and i am not going to stop if we keep hitting another thousand i will add to the giveaway so hit that sub button make me go broke thank you guys so much for 60k i'll try and do something to celebrate it after this whole reveal season is over but holy just Thank you so much. It is unbelievable the support you guys continue to show me. I don't know what I've done to like earn it or whatever, but I appreciate it. Anyways, let's take a look at some cards. And starting off, we have a new one drop for Druid. By the way, some of these cards have probably been leaked. You might have seen some of these. Some of these you might not have. So, well, that's going to be how it's going to be going for for like the remainder of the reveal season. But to do it this way just makes a lot more sense as a reviewer and get the official stuff and also maybe some relevant things to go with it. Anyways, we have the Lingering Zombie, a one mana, one, one undead minion it has death rattle summon a 1-1 one, one disarmed zombie with death rattle summon a 1-1 one, one zombie that's right this is a one mana 3-3 three, three. it is the only minion i can think of correct me if i'm wrong i guess festering whatever it was like that the tree that became other little branches and trees that card had a death rattle within a death rattle other than that i can't really think of one and it's just like a ridiculously good card right we've seen one mana one ones that make one ones they're good and now you have one that goes two layers uh you can get defile pumping you can get your uh Oh my God, your Denathrius bigger. Um, you, it's an undead, and there was already a two drop revealed for Druid that if a, a, a uh, undead had died th like the prior turn or that turn, uh, you get a bonus effect. So it works with that. Just a really sticky uh, minion that's going to be like auto include in whatever token aggro Druid deck you want. Really good card. Auto include. It's, it's like a five star card, right? Like, I, I mean, what other way are you going to say? It's just a one drop you're going to play. It's three layers of death rattle. Like, it's just insanely good. It's a one mana three three with like arguably in some ways better the way it works. Like, so, yeah, I'm giving this a five star in standard um, wild where aggro Druid's pretty good. I'll give it a four. I'm not going to make as big an impact, but I just do aggro Druid's a really good deck in standard at the moment and um if you're doing an undead thing good there just insanely like a card i think it's a five star card um absolutely uh next we have a new spell a six mana spell unending swarm so it's six mana resurrect all friendly minions that cost two or less i'm gonna assume it's based off the base cost that's typically how these things work not like if you discounted something played it for zero like the matriarch that four or five beast that gets cheaper for every taunt you played i don't think it's gonna be like that i think it's like if it's a two drop so you're looking like a scarab a, a one five taunt from spreading plague for example that would come back the one drop we just looked at uh the death rattle the one drop spits out that the one drop that also spits out so it's just a board swarm it's like kind of like a pseudo glowfly swarm you're gonna get a full board of stuff that you can possibly buff up it's just a good board refill we've seen cards like this before um glowfly swarm as i mentioned with spring woods you just have to have if you're playing aggro you're gonna be like spamming the board it just makes sense to play this um, it is a bit slow for those style of decks, like by like turn six, if you lost the board, it's not great. But again, like this is just reload and then you buff it up with something else afterwards. I think it's good. I don't think it's five stars, but I think it's a good card um, for standard. I think wild has better options, but standard doesn't. That's why you see the aggro druid decks really like basically cap out at like three, three mana with the only four mana card being like a buff. Well, maybe they, out, they go a little bit heavier because they have a reload like unending swarm. You can go maybe um composting as well is like more option get more draw so you can get into a card like this 
I'm going to give it a four to five in standard, two out of five in wild, where again, I just think you have better options, but maybe there's some scam potential in wild. Get Billhouse Mana Storm back, Dirty Rat back. There's some insane two drops you can get back there. So I will give it a playable mark uh, in standard. I think it's pretty good. And in wild, yeah, I just think there's better options. Uh, we have Wither, a two mana epic nature spell. Choose a minion. Each friendly undead steals one attack and health from it. So similar to like that nine mana demon that Demon Hunter had that would uh, steal one health, one attack at the end of turn from everything. This is a weird one because like how many undeads are you going to want to play in Druid? We don't know all the cards yet for Druid. There's only like four or five revealed. There's some undeads and they're all good. So that's pretty good. You, you just need them to be on board and just pick a good size minion. It can be your own minion. It's any minion and boom, you get a board buff. That's pretty solid. And this is really cheap, flexible. It's a nature spell. Uh, it has synergies, you know, with like the Herald card. I think you're gonna wanna play the Herald card that if you played a nature spell, you buff your stuff. It's so good. It's great with these boards of undeads. I think this is a very solid card too. Um, I'm going to give it a four to five in standard. I think this is a realistic card. I think wild has better aggro strategies, so I'm going to give it a two in wild. But overall, I think this is also, I think aggro druid is going to look a lot different after this expansion, but I think it just gets better because I think it's got better buffs like cards like this and also just more flexible options reload. It's going to be a lot more flexible going forward, I think. And that's pretty scary considering how good aggro druid already is. So, so far I am impressed with these cards. And well, here's your payoff card, Elder Nadox, Nadox, I don't know. It is a five mana, five, four undead. So bad stats. However, hear me out. It's got text on the card, which means there's a battle cry on it. And what does it do? You destroy a friendly undead, not a minion, a specific undead. Your minions gain its attack all of your minions and that's a permanent effect it's not this turn it's it's a permanent effect so you have anything you've been buffing it up with all these other cards if you're hitting like three attack that's insane right that's bloodlust and if you're playing all these tokens that you're pretty reliably buffing for relatively cheap and going in on this stuff you're just flooding the board you play this on five it's like arbor up is like jealous in a way with the possible attack buffs this has really scary card i think it's really good but it's only if the undead thing comes together because it only works with undead so i guess you could put amalgam in the deck and buff up an amalgam and that counts too that's a possibility um again i think it's a really good card aggro druid looks really good i'm gonna give this a four to five as well um i think the one drops the best because it could go to like freaking anything this is a specific thing and it could you know with and not you know it might not be a, a good enough but four to five for me i think this card looks really strong and in wild again you got arbor up you got glowfly swarm you got savage roar those are just good all the time this requires some work I'm going to give it a two. I think in wild, none of this stuff makes the cut outside of the one drop, but hey, I could easily be wrong on that like I am all the time. So that's all the cards so far today. Uh, there should be more later today, I think around noon my time. So in like eight or so hours, we'll have another card review up then. And then, oh God, tomorrow like midnight, we'll have a review. But regardless, we'll worry about that then. Again, thank you guys so much for 60 thousand subscribers and i just i feel so freaking grateful thank you all and well if you enjoyed the video please like and subscribe have a great day and stay salty my friends